and welcome to the channel. Welcome back to some more scrap and salvage car content. Today we are heading up to Wales. We have five cars to collect. We are heading to Caerphilly, Newport, Cardiff. I think that's about it. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is Kev. I am a HGV driver collecting salvage and life scrap vehicles, taking them back to our yard for recycling. And none of this is scripted. Whatever happens, happens. I have no idea. We might have a nightmare, or we might have an easy day and be back nice and early. Nobody knows. So that's the beauty about these. They're all real life, fly on the wall, documentary, day in the life of a scrap car vehicle collector. <laughs> well, we left the yard at about five o'clock this morning, and it is currently just gone eight o'clock. We've got another hour and a half. We're on the M5, uh, not far, probably, 15 miles from Bristol so we're not doing too bad we're gonna be at the first one around about half past nine so yeah it's all good it's all good I'm gonna crack on with this journey up there and uh, yeah I'll see you when we get to our first car okay we're almost at our first collection I've had to park the truck down there I decided to come for a walk because I don't think we're gonna get up there or up there so Wandering we go. That's where we were. Look how I climbed the freaking mountain. Yeah, nice river. Oh, I hope this car drives. Yeah. Holy shit. This is never ending. Oh. Nice views up there, though. Wow, I'm getting a workout today. <laughs> I need to get fit again. Well, I've recovered from my mountain climb. Thankfully, the car drove, so we were able to get it down from up in the mountains. And we got this uh, 2009 Volkswagen Scirocco. It does only just drive, mind. It's running on about three cylinders, so it's very smoky. Um, MOT till March next year but it is suffering from engine problems uh, 106,000 miles it's not a bad car get it loaded just check the MOT history MOT till March next year so he's got enough poke, poke to get up the ramp More speed. Front. One more attempt. And it'll be flattening the ramp off. Go. Go. There we go, after a little bit of resistance, she's up there, locked, loaded, on to the next one, about half an hour away. Well, we've got a route set up, the rain has started coming down, annoyingly. We are about 30 minutes away from our next one over in uh, Merthyr Tidbill. It's over at a garage. A little uh, Suzuki Alto. He did say something about putting a boost pack on it, so hopefully it will drive. That'll be nice. Right then, see you when we get over there. 
Come to my little auto, second car, and a uh, handbrake stuck on, so I'm going to try and tow it forwards and then I'm going to try and winch it out, hopefully. That's the plan. Okay, just hoping I can pull that front end round and away we go. Here she comes. We've got our little auto out, pretty much ready to continue winching on now. It runs, doesn't drive, it's got a clutch gone. 67,000 miles. Yeah, 2011 Suzuki Alto. Right, get it the rest of the way on now. There we go, half number two loaded. We're gonna get over number three now, which is another garage about half an hour away. Volvo XC70, I believe, possibly. So right, ready to go on to our next one. Uh, what are we doing? Right, we're ready to go over to our next one. It's about half an hour away. Gonna be over there about 12 o'clock, I think. So that's not bad, we've only got two more to do after that down in Cardiff. This one's down in Caffilly. I'm gonna have to do a spinneroo. I'm gonna do a spinneroo here. Hopefully, you're gonna hold back because if you don't, you're a moron. Quite obvious what I was trying to do, and you didn't hold back because you are a moron. There we go. Shame I didn't clip him with a tail swing, that would have been quite funny. Right then, so yeah, moseying on down to the next one. Should be down there in about 30 minutes. We seem to be doing a lot of Volvos lately. This is a 2011 XC90. It's very tidy. It's got a couple of little dinks on it. But a little one on the bumper there. Yeah, seems like a tidy motor. It's, um, yeah, all looks pretty good. Look at that, look, automatic, diesel, full leather, all the toys, 139,000 miles on this one. Uh, it's got an intermittent fault where it cuts out, but seems to be running and driving all right at the moment. All right, let's get loaded.
There we go, number three loaded. Got to head over to Cardiff now for number four. And we've got to car number four, which is at this mini dealership. And it's this very bright Binny 2009. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. it just, well, it won't start. I had to push it out here. But yeah, uh, 65,000 miles, I think it was. I can't remember. Battery's gone flat. It is on, yeah, 65,000 miles. But um, yeah, I assume it must be quite terminal for uh, first to be picking it up. Mind you, that's not unusual with a Mini, is it? And that 2009, I'm quite old for a Mini. Right, let's get it on the truck. There we go, many all loaded up. Gonna make our way to fifth and final one now, which is just around the corner. Right, that is us on our way home. That is vehicle number five picked up. I look at them, um, what, what the frick is exempt vehicles? I don't know, I might be exempt. <laughs> This is where the sat now telling me to go, this is where I'm going. Right, um, yes, fifth vehicle picked up, loaded. Uh, I couldn't show the loading of it because um, it's a red combo and we're contractually obliged not to say we'll show the vehicles. <laughs> Take of that what you will. Um, so yeah, three hour drive back to the yard now, should be back to the yard around about six o'clock. Although I may have to stop and use the facility somewhere, so just after six. Not too bad because I should be able to get them all offloaded anyway. They all roll. None of them are under the kick decks or anything stupid like that, so we should be all good. Come on, lights. Do your thing and make light green, pref preferably. We're going to get a, a filter light then, a filter arrow, but no, no filter arrow. Just have to wait it out. Um, so yeah, we're going to go back along the M4 over the crossing. And then uh, down the M5 to Taunton. Back to the yard from there. I just got back to the yard. It is six o'clock. I'd normally film the unloaded, but it's absolutely lashing it down. I am going to get drenched getting these lot off, but I'm going to crack on. I'll talk to you in a bit. So that is the truck unloaded. Tomorrow I am off to Bristol. I shall be filming all of that on TikTok. So if you like content like this, go and follow me over on TikTok as well, because I post over there pretty much daily. And we're building up a really good community. So it'd be lovely to have a load of you over there as well from me. A very wet, soaked Kev tea. I am going home for a nice warm shower. 
I shall see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Love you, bye.